Taxi is a 19-year-old self-taught photographer who resides in the Katlehong Township in the East End. He's been doing photography for about four years now, and currently he's working on his ongoing photo series titled The Envisioned Self. Recently, he won the prize at the Excellence in Education Awards by Think Ahead in the hashtag MySA Photography category. Well, this morning, this young man joins me in studio. Kamoy, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Yeah, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. You completed your matric last year. How did you ensure that it didn't interfere with your schoolwork? Um, so I'm very big on discipline. And that's what I basically use to balance out my life as far as just, you know, working on my hobby and then school. You know, so it's just a matter of balance for me. Okay. Yeah. So what really drew you to photography? What was it about the lens that really, really excited you? So it's actually a funny story, right? I used to make YouTube videos mm -hmm. and I ended up getting a camera, but I just felt like I ended up losing like the, that love for making YouTube videos, but I already had a camera. So I had a friend who's a musician and I used to like shoot um, pictures for him at his performances and then... I ended up just growing that love for photography from then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I know that uh, you guys, you photographers, you know, you sometimes take random pictures of yeah. of objects Definitely. randomly, but then the end product becomes absolutely stunning. How do Definitely. you ensure that whatever that uh, will come out of it will be something that will blow everybody away? Um, it's basically my intuition. You know, there's no way I can ever calculate a picture. You know, it's, it's just really how I feel in that moment. And that's what I capture. Okay. Yeah. You're also standing a uh, market photo. Yeah. How, how, how is the course coming along? Um, it, it's actually fun. I've been there for like five times now, mm -hmm. um, the market photo workshop in Newtown. And it's a very great environment, especially for a young creative like me who believe, like I believe I need that type of environment, you know. Okay. So, yeah, I'm actually enjoying it there. So in what way is it boosting your, you know, the talent that you already have? Um, basically the resources and also just being surrounded by like-minded people. You know, so yeah, definitely, it's a great space for me. Okay, let's talk about your ongoing uh, series. What is it that really, uh, you know, inspired you to, to go for it? Um, so I started with the Envision Self, yeah. and um, basically, so I, I read a book, um, I Write What I Like by Steve Biko, which is a compilation of his writing writings. Mm -hmm. And after reading that book, I literally told myself, Steve Biko taught me how to be black, you know, and after that, I was just so inspired because I was filled with so much pride. And I wanted to show that off. So since I'm a photographer and I use photography as a medium of expression, I decided to start this series, which is basically based on Biko's philosophies of, you know, the black consciousness movement. So basically the idea behind the series is black pride and loving yourself as a black person. So for those who may not necessarily understand, uh, you know, what the big deal is about photography, well, in as much as, uh, you know, paint artists, mm -hmm. they, they express themselves uh, through the art. But then photography, you just capture what is there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's, it's really different. I, I feel like it depends on how you look at it. So I feel like you won't really understand my work if you don't have an open mind. Sure. So it's just being able to look beneath the surface. You know, so it's really about having an open mind, and that's the best way you can really understand what I'm doing. Okay, so in terms of expressing yourself, mm -hmm. how does your creativity, uh, you know, find expression in whatever, you know, shots that you're taking? Um, for the series, it's literally how I felt. You know, I wanted to show off our blackness, you know, and more than anything, I also used to be very insecure about, mm -hmm. you know, me as a black person. I used to be insecure about my skin, about my lips. And, you know, after reading that book, it completely changed my mentality. So I just wanted to express myself and share that with people right. instead of just keeping that with me. So who is that one photographer that you really would love to work with? Uh, <laughs> the great Zanelle Moholi. Uh -huh. Yeah, the great Zanelle Moholi. Definitely. She, as far as just inspiration, she's my biggest inspiration. And it's also crazy because... What is it about her that fascinates you? She's her fearlessness, first. And the fact that she's an African woman from Umlazi, but she's had international exhibitions and multiple awards. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, that's who I'm really studying right now. Recently, you won, uh, you know, you got a prize at the Excellence Awards, uh, yeah. Excellence in Education Awards by Think Ahead. Mm -hmm. So uh, in what way do you think that will validate you as a photographer moving forward? Um, that recognition was actually crazy. It, it really just blew my mind because... Like, I'm self-taught, you know, nobody's funding this, nobody's pushing this, it's completely just me. So I believe it's also a testament to people, 
you know, to understand that, like, I'm not just a kid with a camera. Like, I'm doing something with a meaning. So to just get that type of recognition, to me, it means the world. And for those who may be inspired by your story as they're watching you right now, yeah. what is that uh, word of advice that you give to them? Embrace your truth. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from a township. I put that out there. Yeah. You know, um, I'm black. I put that out there. Like, yeah. this is my truth. I'm not lying. This is not a facade. I literally, embrace your truth. I feel like people resonate with you more the minute you start to embrace who you really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you embrace the truth and yeah. uh, look at where you are today. Thank you All very the much. Best, young man. Definitely. Shout out. Thank you. All right. That was self-taught photographer Kamohelo Matlatsi talking to us about his work and uh, future plans.